What's up guys? Welcome back to my art channel. So for today's video, I'll be showing you the process of a painting that I did, also known as Flower Child. So grab your canvas and paintbrush and let's begin. So in the beginning of this painting, I had her with a gray dress, but I didn't really like the color gray. It felt kind of dull within the yellow. But working back on her face, I'm going to be defining her cheekbones and also adding shadows to her forehead. So one thing I do want to mention is when you're painting with acrylic paint, you really want to wait until your paint is dry before you add another layer of color. Because working with acrylic paint, it could get really messy if you're trying to add color on top of color. And you know, we want to make this as smooth as possible. So when I started painting her hair, I knew I wanted her hair to be really cute, big, and wavy. So I'm just going to be dropping down random curls just to identify where I wanted her hair to be. I'm going to be painting her hair curl by curl. So quick story time on how I got inspired with this piece and how I got her name, Flower Child. I was listening to a Drake song and one of his lyrics said, Flower Child, beautiful child, I'm in your zone. And that moment right there for me was just like a <sighs> So for her outfit, I decided to give her these burgundy pants with a white top. I thought those colors worked perfect together with the background color. So now it was time to do the line work and guys, to be honest, I wasn't too happy with how the lines came out. I felt like my hands were too shaky and I couldn't really get straight lines. Overall, I think it did came out kind of cute, but you know, I could have done better. So when it came to outlining her face, y'all, I was terrified. I didn't want to touch her face. I was just like, oh my God, I'm going to mess up. Like, it's going to look a mess. Overall, it came out kind of cute. I'm not too happy. If I could do this painting again, I definitely wouldn't use black. I felt like black was a uh, really heavy contrast, but oh well. So to finish off the piece, I'm going to be adding highlights with this shimmery silver color. Throughout the process of painting Flower Child, I had so many mixed emotions. I loved it, I hate it, but overall I'm happy with how she turned out. This piece was very experimental for me and you know, I'm very happy I stepped out my comfort zone to try something different. But we came to the end of this video and I just want to say thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!